What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and in this video we're breaking down how the NFC North is looking right now especially for the Detroit Lions okay so let's get this thing started that last bit was not real okay just just make sure you understand that's not real now definitely go check it out if you have not okay it's pretty funny but it's not real okay that the guy in the video is not matthew stafford that's actually me okay i know i know i look like him <laughs> that little bit okay this that's not stafford it's me but it was just a joke so hopefully you guys can just understand that was just just for fun it was just for fun but in this video this one is more serious we are actually looking at the nfc north and uh we're taking a look at where the lions sit now and you know where they sit and where are their chances right now to do anything okay because right now they're in a pretty bad hole after that loss to minnesota vikings now i think the loss in minnesota vikings was how can i say this like inflated i see i just think you can say inflated like a like if you blow a ball up it got inflated it got even bigger than it usually would after that loss because of the loss to the packers right because you lost it that way to the packers and yes we all believe we should have won that game if the lions win that game that loss to the vikings is like not that big of a deal right it's, it's really not but now it's really inflated because now we get that dumb loss versus the packers and now it's adding to that making it worse is taking the loss to the vikings the very next week this is a tough three game stretch okay this was a tough start to the season our first six games were tough and we're sitting two three and one right now now the season's not over i'm not going to be the one to tell you the season's over until it's mathematically over but i don't even think it's down to that point yet we're still too early in the season for me to say okay let's look at the percentages here i'm not going to look at those right now but the nfc north is a very tough division and winning the division those odds are very scary right now. Let's start off with last place where we sit. We sit at two, three, and one. Um, obviously, if you go through the standings, at first place we have the Green Bay Packers at six and one. We have the Minnesota Vikings at five and two, and then we have the Chicago Bears at three and three. Okay, they lost last night uh, to the they lost last night to the Saints. Okay, we don't play the Saints, which is actually really good for us. So they had that loss, and right now we are two, three, and one at the bottom. But it's not like the season's really over. We do have a chance to make up some ground here. So we're gonna start off with. The Chicago Bears. We'll do the Lions last because, again, we're Lions channel. We all know about the Lions. We'll start off with the other things first, and we'll touch on them last. So, basically, like I said, the Bears just came off of an 11-point loss to the Saints, okay? And then they're going to play the Chargers. Now, the Chargers came into this year, obviously, with a lot of high hopes. They just haven't really lived up to that. We beat them, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they lose that game. Obviously, you hope they lose every game. Then they'll play the Eagles on the road. Now, the Eagles just came off of a blowout loss to the Dallas Cowboys, and that's probably going to be a must-win for the Eagles at that point as well. So, I would not be surprised if the Eagles came out and started balling, and that was that's that's another game they could potentially lose and then they play us at home so that's a huge game for us obviously and then they have the rams so their next four games are going to be really tough and there's a chance we could definitely hop past the chicago bears now really all it always comes down to the fact you have to beat your divisional teams minnesota vikings then are up next they sit at five and two now minnesota vikings obviously just came off that win versus us and i'm not even there's no blaming the refs or anything there's this one if you want to say the pass interference call is bogus whatever we deserve to lose that game and that's just a fact we didn't deserve to win okay offensively they deserve to win defense they didn't deserve to win at all, okay? That game should have been close because our defense was that terrible. They did not deserve to win, and we deserve to hold this loss versus the Minnesota Vikings, okay? So we lost at home, which stinks. It's not on the road. So next time we play them, we're going to have to win on the road, which stinks, but we've done it before. It's not like it's an impossible thing, and uh, we're a still a really good team in my in my eyes. It inflates, right? Because after seeing our team get blown out like that, it's like, wow, like, this, this think of how things just change. I mean, if we would have beat the Packers, we'd be thinking to ourselves, okay, we beat a really good Packers team, and then we lost the Vikings, but we're still good, right? We're still a lot good, but now this that Packers loss makes it even worse. So now I'm looking at Minnesota Vikings. They play the Redskins next week, which if they lost this game, I would be 100% shocked. I don't think there's any way they lose this game. Now they could. Obviously, I'm hoping they do. I just don't think it's going to happen, okay? So that should give them the win. Then they play the Chiefs. Now, their quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, is obviously down with an injury. We'll see what happens there. They are not terrible without him, but at the same time, they're not the same without him, right? They're not the same team without him. So we'll see how that goes. I think he's a three week. I think he's out for at least three weeks. So I think he's going to miss that game. So hopefully the Chiefs can step up. Um, but there's a chance they win their next two games, and that's going to be bad for us. And then you have the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Cowboys. And now the Cowboys have looked bad. They can get this win. So we definitely need some luck on our side because then they play the Broncos, which they should be the Broncos. Then they play Seattle, which is nice because hopefully Seattle can get that win. So maybe if they lose like three of their next five, we're good. But I think there's two games they'll probably lose, and I think three of them they should win. So hopefully one of those games go our way where the case that they lose one of those games because you never know. I mean, it's, it's the NFL. Things, crazy things happen. So you never know, okay? Teams are all playing for pride. You know, things happen. I'm looking at the Green Bay Packers. Now, the Green Bay Packers are so far in front right now. It's almost hard to just 
even say that we have a chance. I, we do have a chance. We have a chance because we still have that game coming up against them again. And the fact is, we have three losses. They have one, but we play them again at the end of the season, which could help, which definitely is going to help us if we can get that win. Um, but we also need them to have some losses on their own for sure. Now, division teams, hopefully they can get some, hopefully they can beat them. Hopefully Chicago Bears can beat them. Um, but right now, the Packers, next up, they play the Chiefs again. No Mahomes. So that's a big blow for us as Lions fans because that's going to be tough. Hopefully they lose this game, obviously. They could. I mean, I'm not saying the Chiefs are completely terrible without him, right? They've competed without him. But they're not the same team without him, right? And then they play the Chargers, and the Chargers haven't looked good at all this year. But you have to think, with all that talent, there's no reason they can't be competitive. But I don't, I don't know. That's going to be a tough one. Then the Panthers. These are three games that I think the Packers should win on paper. They are the better team. But at the same time, these are all teams that are capable of beating the Packers, okay? I guess that's the way to say it. Not likely, but they're capable. Then they play the Niners. So there's a chance they lose to the Niners. If they can lose one of the other games in here, whether it's the Chargers or the Panthers or maybe the Chiefs, if they can lose any of those games, the Chiefs game is actually a Sunday night football game. If they lose any of those and then they lose to the Niners, that would definitely help us out because that drops them down to three losses. And then we really have to run the table for trying to win the division at this point. I mean, it's sad, but that's kind of what it's coming down to because... They're just, they built kind of that lead off that one win, right? That one game is a huge difference. If we get that win, we have the tiebreaker for now. We give them an extra loss, we give ourselves an extra win. We are barely behind them after their loss to Minnesota. Barely. But unfortunately, we know how that works. Again, I'm not going to just sit on that and be like, oh my gosh, this season's over because we got robbed. No, I'm not going to say that. We still have a really good chance to, to make some things happen, okay? Because if you look at the Lions schedule, next up we play the Giants, and next up we play the Raiders after that. And when I look at the Lions schedule, it's simple. I haven't said a game is necessarily a must win, like you have to win. I said maybe it's a must win versus the Vikings, but I don't think it is yet. It's just too early. But this game versus the Giants, I think it's a must win to the point where obviously not mathematically you would be out of the playoffs, playoff race. But if you lose to the Giants, I don't know how you can make the playoffs. You're just not a playoff caliber team, okay? And I, I know that's crazy to say because... It's, it, I think it's so easy to get caught up in the record and instead of really understand, okay, what, what have we done this year? We tied to the Cardinals, which was tough the first game of the year. We beat the Chargers. We beat the Eagles on the road, okay? And obviously those teams are shaky. Um, and then we almost beat the Chiefs. We could have beat the Chiefs. I don't want to say almost counts. But obviously, you know, we haven't been bad up to the last game and even at our worst. I don't think our defense can get much worse than that. I really don't. It's kind of scary to think that that defense could get much worse than that. I don't think it's possible, but maybe they can. Hopefully not. I would love to see the Lions make a trade. We need to get healthy. But... I just don't see them playing much worse than that. And still, we did put up 30 points, which was a good sign for the offense because that's a Vikings defense that is very talented. They give up 15 points per game going into that. We scored 30. So there are still positives to take away. The Lions just have to get on the roll. And it's the time is now, okay? And I understand, like, mathematically, yeah, we're not out. And, you know, we've played really good, really up to that last point. We've played pretty good in the season. But... It's unfortunate that the season's 16 games long and one loss like that can really hurt you, okay? And obviously, you don't want to dwell on it because we can't at this point. We are 2-3-1 three, and one, and we have to get on the roll. If we win our next two games, we're 4-3-1 and one, we're right back in the race once again, okay? And I don't think that's impossible. There's no reason if you are a playoff team, if you are a playoff team that wants to compete, there is no reason you can't beat the Giants. There's no reason you can't beat the Raiders. That is what a playoff team does. You win the games you're supposed to win and you steal a couple. This... The Vikings game, they were favored for a reason. Maybe we weren't supposed to win that game. Okay, we lost at stakes. Now we got to bounce back. You play the Giants. You have to win this game. There is no excuse. You have to win this game. That's what it comes down to. Whether it takes to make it a trade this week, whatever it takes, you got to find a way to win. Whether it's paying the rest. I don't know. I don't know what they do around there in Lambo. Maybe we can ask them for some advice. Anyways, that's what we got to do. Okay, we have to take care of the Giants. Then we have to beat the Raiders. The next two, in my eyes, are proving to me whether or not this team can compete this year. And I know it's hard. It stinks to say that again. It's only 16 games, though. That's why it's that. That's why that's the case. This is These next two games are, in my opinion, going to show us whether or not this team can compete this year for a playoff spot. And I don't think there's any reason they can't, okay? 4-3-1 would not be a terrible thing if we can get our next two, but we got to get our next two. I don't want to look ahead. We have to get them. Now, I don't really want to go into possibilities, like crazy scenarios, like, okay, well, if we win this game, Packers lose this game, Bears lose. I don't want to do that right now. We've played six games. I don't want to do that. The simple fact is this. We have 10 games left, and all of our heart, basically the, some of our, most of our hardest games are out of the way. Okay, we have some tough ones coming up, don't get me wrong. Away Minnesota is not going to be easy. Away Chicago is not going to be easy. Home Packers is not going to be easy. But they're division games. You have to win your division games, you're going to win the division, okay? Either way, I'm not going to get into the scenarios. The fact is this, the Lions have everything in front of them. And right now, it may seem as bleak as heck. It may seem like the slimmest smallest chance in the world and i understand if you want to say nope we're done because what they showed 
it gives you no reason to think otherwise. What the defense showed gives you no reason to think that this team can make the playoffs. But they can. This team can turn it around. It is football. It happens like this. We've seen it time and time again. I understand they're the Lions, but it happens, okay? Teams start off 0-4 and they make the playoffs. It's like, what the heck just happened? How did they How did they start winning all these games? I mean, I've seen the Texans do it. They won like nine straight or something a couple years ago. This stuff kind of happens, and the Lions have to do it now. The Patriots are known for doing this. Now, maybe not 2-3 and 1 start, but they've started slow before. Not this year, obviously, but they started slow before, and then they kick it on. This is October. This is November, December. This is January football. This is when it all matters, okay? We have to. I repeat, we have to get on the run here. There's no reason we can't. There's no reason that this team, with all this talent, with all the money we spent, cannot pull off some games. There's no reason with an offense that can score 30 points on the Vikings, where Matthew Stafford's can throw four touchdowns versus the Vikings. There's no reason that this team can't get on the run. And that's what it's going to come down to. Okay, I'm not going to come down to, okay, well, well, do we need this help or this help or this help? Take care of our business. And before you know it, we'll be back in the race. But we have to take care of our business. Now, let me give you guys a little thing here. Um, this weekend, I'm going to be late to the live stream. If I live stream at all, I apologize. The reason for that is actually the church that I go to is putting on a football game. And I am going to be... What should I say compete in it? I'm going to be in it. I'm going to be involved in that. So uh, I've never done it before, so I think it would be pretty fun to do. But I'm going to be in that. Uh, so I may not be able to live stream. I'm probably going to watch the game. I just may not be able to live stream in time and get everything set up. Depending on when I get home. Say I get home at and I get everything set up by halftime. Second half, I'll go live. So keep an eye out for the alerts because you never know. I may go live. Um, but there's a chance that if I do... There's a very good chance it's going to be late. There's a very good chance it's going to be late. Maybe it's not. Maybe the game's not that long. I don't know what I'm expecting. Uh, but either way, the Lions sit in a tough position right now. They're a couple games back. Good thing is the Bears lost last week, so that definitely helps us. Um, but what I think it's simple. You take care of your business. You have two games that you should win your next two. You should win your next two games, and you got to do it. you got to get a roll going. And uh, I believe in this team. I know it's hard, it's bleak, and it's tough to do that right now. I believe in this team. I believe in Stafford, and I believe that they can do it. Now that we need to go see them do it. It's not time for believing. It's time for seeing. Detroit, let's go on a run. Let me hear your thoughts, comments below. Thank you, Pat, for watching. And I'm out.